and a 20 foot by 28 foot swimming pool is filled with water. The depth is measured at regular intervals starting at one corner of the pool and the values are recorded below. So looking at the table, notice how we can tell the pool is 28 feet in this direction and 20 feet in this direction. And these values represent the depth of the water at the given location. We're asked to estimate the volume of the water in the pool using the midpoint rule with m equals n equals 2. Because both m and n are equal to 2, this tells us we'll be dividing this length into two equal partitions as well as this length here. So we'll be dividing the surface area of the pool into four smaller partitions. The midpoint rule is given here below where the double summation of f of x sub i bar comma y sub j bar times delta a is approximately equal to this double integral, which would be the volume under a surface above the xy plane as long as f of x comma y is non-negative. To get a better idea of how the midpoint rule works, let's look at an animation. f of x comma y times delta a would give the volume of one of these smaller rectangular prisms or cuboids, which we use to approximate the volume over the xy plane below the surface. So again, because in our case, m and n both equal two, we'll be using four rectangular prisms or four cuboids to approximate the volume of water in the pool. And when we use the midpoint rule, we use the function value, in this case, the depth that would be in the middle of each partitioned area in the xy plane. So if it's on a coordinate system, x bar comma y bar would be the average x and y coordinates that define each of these smaller partitions. So in our case, again, because m and n both equal two, we'll be using the volume of four rectangular prisms or four cuboids pictured here to approximate the volume of water in the pool, where f of x bar comma y bar would be the height and delta a would be the area of the base. To help us set this up, let's place the surface area of the pool on the xy plane. So we know the pool is 28 feet by 20 feet, so this would be 28 feet, and this would be 20 feet. And again, because m equals n equals two, we'll partition this horizontal distance into two equal pieces, let's say here. And we'll do the same for the vertical distance here. Notice how this makes four smaller partitions or four smaller areas. So if this is 28, this would be 14. If this is 20, this would be 10. Now let's talk about delta A. Delta A is going to be the area of each of these smaller partitions. So notice how each of these smaller rectangles are 14 feet by 10 feet, and therefore delta A is equal to 14 times 10, which equals 140. And now because we're using the midpoint rule, we want to find the midpoint of each of these smaller rectangular partitions which would be here, 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 and here. Notice how the x-coordinate of this point here would be the average of 0 and 14, which is 7, and the y-coordinate would be the average of 0 and 10, which is 5. Here we'd have an x-coordinate of 7, and a y-coordinate would be the average of 10 and 20, which is 15. The average of 14 and 28 would be 21, so this point would be 21 comma 5, and this point would be 21 comma 15. Now let's go ahead and set this up. We'd have the volume. It's going to be approximately equal to the double sum where j goes from 1 to 2 and so does i of f of x sub i bar comma y sub j bar times delta a. Let's go ahead and write this out. Notice how first j goes from 1 to 2 before i goes from 1 to 2. So we'd have f of x sub one bar comma y sub one bar, which would be this point here, seven comma five, times delta a, plus then we'd have f of x sub one bar comma y sub two bar, which would be seven comma 15 times delta a, plus now i changes from one to two, so we have f of x sub two bar comma y sub one bar, that'd be f of 21 comma five, times delta A, 
plus f of, finally we have f of x sub 2 bar comma y sub 2 bar, which would be f of 21 comma 15 times delta a. Now we could factor out this delta a, but we'll go ahead and leave it in there just to emphasize these products represent the volume of a rectangular prism. Now let's find these function values from our table, which represent the depth of the water. So f of 7 comma 5 would be equal to 5 f of 7 comma 15 would be equal to 2, f of 21 comma 5 would be equal to 8, and f of 21 comma 15 is equal to 6. And again, delta A is equal to 140. So we have 5 times 140 plus f of 7 comma 15 is 2 times 140 plus f of 21 comma 5 is 8, 8 times 140 plus f of 21 comma 15 is 6 times 140, which comes out to 2,940, and this would be cubic feet of water. So this is the approximate volume of the water in the pool using the midpoint rule. I hope you found this helpful.